Hello again. Um, this time, I'm going to show you how to create an intelligent custom component for uh, an architectural window. So at first, we're going to model a frame using the uh, uh, steel beam. And we can say here, uh, we call this one as window. And then we're going to use the uh, uh, a rectangular hollow section this one so we can use the uh, RS edge so let's say the RS edge will be the height base and thickness so uh, let's say the height is uh, 100 and then the base is 50 and the Thickness is, let's say 5 is okay. Apply and okay. And then we can choose a color here for the, the frame. Alright. <clears throat> and then uh, we can just simply pick this point and let's say 2 meters. Alright. So we can put this one on the, uh, we can rotate this one first. Let's say front, and this one must be front as well. All right, so we can copy this one. Uh, copy. So let's say another uh, our one thousand seven hundred. Let's check what is not showing here. All right, so now let us continue. Uh, we can still use the beam to form a post here. So let's say from this, this top to the bottom of this and then rotate it again. to front or sorry to, to front or maybe we can just simply use our uh, contextual toolbar so the contextual toolbar is maybe somewhere outside the screen so we can just simply change this one to 90 yeah and then Change this to up and then copy to the other side. Copy, copy. Wait, why my mouse is? I just put copy linear from this point to this point. So two meters. Hmm. Why? It's saying it's duplicate. Okay, let's try that one again. Copy to here. Okay, there you go. And then this one, we change this one to down. <coughs> Now we have the uh, uh, the main frame of our window. All right. So uh, uh, the next one is, uh, of course, uh, we're going to uh, uh, combine this one, or we'll make this one as an assembly. So in order for us to do that one, we can either use a weld, or you can just simply select these three parts. Right click on it and then add to assembly and then select the bottom uh, frame and there you go so now if you check inquire assembly then this one will be 
one assembly now. All right. So the next thing to do is, uh, okay, uh, as you notice, uh, you need to place the uh, the handle properly on the surface of the uh, of the frame. Okay, and now I'm going to add the uh, the window frame. Okay, this one is the main frame for our window, and then the window has its own frame as well. So I can use the same uh, beam here, and then uh, here I'm going to uh, create, let's say, uh, 50 by 25 by 3. So this one is my window frame, and then let's say I put a color 11. And then from here, so from the center to the center here. So make it sure that uh, uh, the dimension are in the whole number. So if you have some points, maybe uh, you are not picking in the correct uh, position. So here I can now uh, uh, rotate again this one top and then uh, oh sorry you need to put up and then this one to be on the uh, middle <clears throat> okay so this one is the is the uh, window frame so if this one is uh, uh, too big for us then we can uh, we can still change this one but this one is already a 50 millimeter uh, 50 millimeter width, so I think that one is enough for our uh, uh, our window frame. Okay, so I'll just uh, copy this one again. Copy. So from this point, let's say uh, uh, let's say 550. All right. And then, of course, change the uh, the rotation. Uh, oh, sorry. So you can change the rotation to let's say 180 degrees. Yeah. And then we can now add the bottom frame. So again, I'll turn on the uh, transparency so that I can easily pick on the position where I want to pick. So this one is middle. All right. Okay, and then the other one is here. Mid, pick the midpoint. Okay, and then again, change the position to um, behind. There you go. Okay, and what else? Uh, we can now add the uh, uh, another frame for the window it's here. Let's say at the middle. So I can just simply copy this one. Copy special uh, linear. Then, uh, if this one is 2000, I can put here uh, negative, negative 1000 and then copy. All right. And then this time I'm going to put this one uh, on the middle. Oh, this one, middle. All right. And that one is uh, will divide our window horizontally, and then if we want to divide our window vertically, then we need to add another uh, vertical uh, part here. So to add again the uh, the vertical uh, division for our window, uh, actually we can just simply copy this one, copy, and then from this point. Okay, let's say if this one is uh, five thousand uh, five hundred fifty, then the uh, uh, the half of 550 is 275 so you type 275 and there you go and then here I can change this one to a uh, middle 
all right and then this time I can create a uh, 3d view so from here I will just simply uh, move the handle to the top of this uh, frame and then this handle to the bottom of this okay and lastly we need to divide this one into two okay so what I will do is I will use the edit split select this part and then pick the top and then move this handle to the bottom of this uh, horizontal uh, frame all right so there you go close it and then now it's time for us again to uh, select all of this element and then right click on it so add to assembly and then select this bottom part and again if you inquire uh, the assembly of this one so this one will be the uh, as one whole assembly okay and uh, to add the uh, let's say I'm going to add the uh, uh, mirror uh, what do you call that the glass okay the glass so I can use my uh, again steel plate then instead of uh, plate I will type here glass so it's very important to, to add a proper uh, naming here because later on when we do the filter to make it transparent then it will be easier for us so here I can just simply uh, uh, use any color here maybe uh, I'll use this number 5 and then the glass thickness is 10 and this will will be on the middle so you need to pick this point here okay to the middle of the uh, secondary window frame or the window frame here okay 500 and here another point here and then middle button of your mouse oops <coughs> again so I think I uh, make it let's let's put it in the uh, transparent view again actually it depends on your preference but I think uh, transparent view is a much more easier way especially when you do the modeling or detailing then uh, it, it's easier if it is in the transparent view but again it depends on the uh, uh, user's preference okay so in my case then this one will be much better and easier okay so at the moment you will notice that the, <clears throat> the that the uh, glass it's still uh, solid so it's not transparent so enable for you to make it transparent then you need to put that one in our uh, object representation so this one is an additional information for you so add row and then here you can just simply uh, uh, go to the object group and then create if the part name is equals to glass and then save this one as a glass glass filter okay save and then there you go so glass filter so you can ch change this one to uh, transparency let's say 50 percent modify yeah so now it's 50 percent mod uh, transparency then you can save this one as a standard so that whenever you open the tagless structure then in in this particular model then you will have the transparency in your glass Okay, you simply apply an OK and then modify, right? <clears throat> so there you go. So you have now the uh, glass uh, uh, window here. Now, uh, again, uh, make it sure that this glass is also part of the assembly. So you need to add that one to the assembly. So you can select again any part of this assembly. So the, it will be added in the assembly. So now if you inquire the assembly, so you can see here, uh, the plate <coughs> 10 which is uh, uh, the glass 
Okay, so now it's time for us to create the uh, intelligent custom component. But of course, first we need to create the uh, this as a custom component. So you will notice here that uh, uh, that I have only one frame here. Later, I'm going to to add the uh, array of this window inside the custom component. So at this point of time, we'll just uh, select this one and then under this. Uh, application and components then you can define custom component so at this point of time we use the part because this one is a is a custom component part or intelligent custom component part and then we can say this one is a uh, let's say yt window <clears throat> all right all right sorry Next, so in the component or uh, in the model, select the object that will form custom component. So I already pre-selected that one, so I can click next. So pick the position, okay? So I have, you need to select one or two position. This time I'm going to select two position so that I can easily model that one using the two points. So I'm going to pick this point, the start, and then the end. and then finish all right so now as you can see here if i press ctrl 4 <clears throat> it it will not be solid because that one should be shift 4 because of that one because of uh being a custom component okay so it's a component now so all we have to do is uh let's continue to modify this one using the edit custom uh, by simply opening the edit custom component so this one is another editor in the tecla structure so now you have the main view and then here you have the uh, variable where you can add your formula and this time we're going to do the binding so for the binding this one could have a lots of binding so uh, Bear with me for this time, and uh, I'm going to show you how to do the binding. All right, so you have a different planes to bind from boundary, center, outline, cut, and component plane. So the first thing is to bind that inside the uh, component plane, so as a whole component. So you need to bind that one if, 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 uh, in the end or in the start or in the middle of the component. So first thing is we need to bind this uh, main part select the handle make it sure that you select the component right click and then bind to plane so this is the end so I, i'm going to have a d1 <clears throat> so meaning uh, when i pick this point then it will be zero on the first pick point and then select this one and to continue pick this one to have a d2 all right so what's the meaning of this one okay uh just to show you what what will happen with this d1 and d2 i will simply close this one and then come back to, to this one again so here you have this uh, pick one and two so if you uh if you go to this uh yt so here if i pick one and then two so you you will notice that uh the main frame or this uh, bottom part uh, goes to the second pick point because I already bound that one okay so this one maybe I'll just delete this one now and then I will continue with with this all right so if I move this one here so that one is the pick point then if you notice the uh, the vertical uh, frame here doesn't follow yet because we haven't done any uh, binding there so now let's continue for the binding so this one will be uh, uh will bind the other <clears throat> okay so next is we need to bind this handle these handles okay to the boundary boundary of this bottom frame all right so one two three three points Alt, press the Alt key and then hand, uh, select the handle by selecting by window. Right click and then bind to. 
So select this part, which is the, uh, select this uh, plane, which is the boundary plane. If I click on this one, all will be uh, bound to that plane, which is zero. So it's uh, plus to that uh, position. So meaning, whatever the position of this bottom frame, that will be the position of this vertical and the top frame. So similar to, to these two, okay, to the right side. Again, press the uh, Shift key and select the handle, right click and then bind. And there you go. So keep it zero. Okay, so <clears throat> we're not going to change anything there. All right, it will just follow. Okay, so if I if I close this one again, you will see what is the output. There you go. See. So now, if I delete this one and then if I pick one, two, so everything follows, right? Two thousand. Okay. So now, let's move on. Uh, again, going back to edit custom component. So this time I'm going to continue with the binding. I'm, go I'm not going to show you the, the preview anymore. Uh, I mean, I'm going to show you the, the outcome later, but now uh, to save our time, so we will uh, continue the binding. Okay, so next is, uh, okay, so since this one, I bound that one to the uh, uh, plane, boundary plane of this. This time I'm going to bind that one to the center plane so that I need to make it sure that all this one will be at the center of the uh, plane so or this frame. So bind and then look at this one. Click. So everything will be under zero. So that's fine. Uh, actually, I can uh, I can also use that one for the Okay, I can also use that one for uh, for this window itself. Alt key and then bind. So bind to the middle or the center. And there you go. See, you will have a lot of uh, uh, binding. So what happened is I just select uh, all the points and then bind it together. But uh, basically you can also use the uh, uh, this can create construction plane, but um, maybe in the other, uh, some other time, I'm going to show you the how to use this uh, create construction plane. So that one will be, uh, uh, the whole plane will be uh, bind to the center, but at this point of time, I'll just uh, bind it uh, individually. Okay, that's why you have a lots of uh, uh, values here or distance value type. Okay, so now uh, next is the <clears throat> the position of the uh, uh, this one, the height, the height of the uh, the the opening or the the window. Okay, so here I can just simply actually. Um, This one, I think I, I I miss this one. So anyway, I will just simply uh, modify that one inside the Tecla uh, Structure Custom Component uh, Editor. So because this one need to be uh, need to be on the behind. So behind and then enter. All right, and then this. Uh, This frame, window frame, I'm going to move that one, move linear, and then here, negative 50, move. Okay, so now we're okay. And then this one, I need to move also negative 50. This one, I need to move also negative 50. I'm sorry about that one, I, uh, I think, uh, I overlook the the position of that uh, uh, top frame. Okay, so now um, the next one is I need to make it sure that this this uh, top frame I'm going to bind that one. Okay, bind to the bottom 
of this part okay so make it uh, sure that this one is boundary again boundary plane and then click here so look what will happen so I have now the height of the window which is 17 so meaning that 17 I can now control the position of this 17 uh, by simply adding the parameter here I will add 17 and then type here uh, uh, equals to P uh, 1 and then this one is equals to P 1 all right and then hide this one hide so this one will be the uh, window height all right <clears throat> so look if I change this one to 2000 look what will happen so it will go up but if you notice here the vertical frame doesn't go along with the, uh, the top frame because it's not yet uh, binded. So now we can now select this two frame and then Alt key, right click and then bind to plane and then pick that one. So zero, zero. So now uh, this time I'm going to uh, um, change the height again by simply changing this one to 2000 and then enter so look it follows because of the binding so actually this binding is just a repeated procedure so uh, the thing that you need to know is when to bind or where to bind so that's the important uh, thing here when you do the uh, uh, the intelligent custom component okay so now um, this time I'm going to uh, uh, bind this one, okay, this frame, okay, so here, Alt key and then bind, to the bottom here, so again, it will be zero, okay. So meaning when it will not go anywhere, but only in that position, zero. So again, select this one, two, and then three. One, two, three. And then again, Alt key, bind. And then that one will be zero again. Okay, so that one is for the height. So let me add also this one. Ah, later. So this one also, I need to, I need to bind this, bind here. Again, it's zero and then this time for the window width, okay, bind, here. So now you can see there is a 550. So again, if you want to control this one, immediately add a parameter, type here 550. <clears throat> then this one is equals to P2, copy and then paste it here and then hide this and then this one will be a uh, window internal width. <clears throat> okay so that's uh, 550 if i change this one to what let's say 800 see it works so okay so now uh, I'm okay with the top, the bottom, and then now I need to bind uh, this uh, vertical, uh, vertical and horizontal uh, uh, intermediate frame to the side. Okay, so select, select this, and then again Alt key, bind. So this one need to be bind to the. Uh, boundary plane okay so that it will be it will be keep there <clears throat> okay so against this one this 
Alt key and then bind. Okay, that one is zero. And then uh, this again and this. Alt key. Bind to this vertical frame and also this need to bind to this vertical frame. <coughs> All right, so <clears throat> what else? Um, this one, this need to be bind here and this need to be bind here. Actually, this one also need to bind here. Okay, so for the three distance, okay. Maybe it's not necessary, but this one bind here. Ah, okay, so I think it's, uh, what, what it says? Already, it's already bound. <clears throat> okay, now uh, let's try. Um, let's see this one, 1000. Alright, so that works. Only this two doesn't, so meaning I need to bind this one. So that, that's how, how you check whether it is bind or not. So I need to bind this one to this. Okay, so now let's check again. Um, this one is, let's say, 2000. Whoa, 15. Okay, there you go. So we'll put it 15. Okay, so uh, next is the uh, position of this uh, horizontal, uh, uh, horizontal uh, intermediate frame. So, of course, we can uh, make this one as uh, middle or uh, yeah center of the uh, the frame, or you can do the adjustment if you like. So let's say it's I'll select these two and then bind here, or uh, yeah, let's say bind here. So now you can have the the value here 650. Immediately add parameter here 650. And then this one is equals to P3. Equals to P3. Then hide again. And this one is intermediate or horizontal frame distance. Don't worry about the uh, the naming because you can uh, you can change that one later when you create the uh, the picture on this uh, custom component dialog box okay all right so let's see if i change this one to 1000 okay going up and then here let's say uh 650 and there you go so it seems everything uh is okay now so <clears throat> now <coughs> Enable for us to, to add the window frame inside or to, to make an array. Uh, we need to make it sure as well that we have the uh, uh, profile size or uh, to, to deduct the profile thickness or uh, width uh, in the uh, whole length of the, of the window. So enable for us to do that one. We need to create the uh, <clears throat> We need to get the, uh, uh, or to create the reference of this profile. Since these profiles are all same, uh, first of all, uh, you can also create a profile for, for this one if you want to change the size. So all you have to do is to <coughs> add, <coughs> excuse me, add the, uh, the profile here. Click the profile and then double click on this, copy this uh, profile, copy and then put it here. And there you go. So this one is the uh, uh, window, <coughs> or let's say, 
uh, what do you call that, uh, mainframe, mainframe profile, in case that you want to change the, uh, the profile, so you need to equate this P4 to the mainframe, so how, how to do that one, so first of all, you need to refresh, <coughs> select the, this uh, mainframe one, and then under the general, you go to the profile, right click, add equation, and then paste the P4, and then select again the next uh, frame, vertical frame, go to the profile, add equation, and then this one, profile, add equation, and lastly, this one, profile, add equation. <clears throat> okay, and uh, let's say the window frame, we can add another uh, profile here. So this time, I'll uh, copy this uh, smaller one. So here is the window frame profile. Okay, so same thing, you just copy the P5 and then uh, refresh this one. So select one by one again. So this one have more uh, frame. So one is the gen uh, this frame one paste, and then this two, the second one, uh, add equation, paste, this one. The good thing here is when you pick uh, the part, then it will highlight in the uh, custom component or the object browser, custom component browser. So you can easily go to the uh, uh, properties and then add equation and then paste that one. So here. Uh, three more so this one profile this one but of course if you want to uh, to change uh, a different profile for each uh, member then you need to create a different uh, parameters okay at this point of time I just use one parameter for all the uh, for all the profiles so when I change one, then everything will be changed. At the moment, I have only two, two, uh, two profile: the main frame and then the window frame. Okay. So next is uh, uh, we need to get the reference. Okay. So I press this one. So let's say this reference. If you go to the profile properties, you can see here the uh, mm, width. Okay, width. Right click and then copy reference. So from your uh, variable. Just simply click add and then he get equals and then control V. So that one is the 50. That one is the uh, just hide this one and then this one is the uh, uh, main frame width. So we're going to use that one later when we do the equation. Okay, so to get this uh, main, main frame width. Okay, next is uh, we need to add the uh, what do you call that? This we need to create the reference distance, okay? Because uh, this distance, uh, it will you can only identify this one by picking one and two points, okay? So we don't uh, we don't have any reference yet until you pick that two points. So now we need to create that one inside by simply selecting this create reference distance distance. So select and then pick this one. Select the uh, one of the uh, side and then pick this point, and it will create now the reference distance, which is this 2000. So, this 2000, uh, we can use that one later for our equation. Okay, so next is uh, um, we need to do the array for, uh, for this window frame and the window. So, in this case, we can now uh, do this nested component. Nested component meaning uh, we're going to apply the component inside the custom component. So to do that, you need to go to the custom or the application and component and then you type here array. And then here, you just select this array and then you can see here uh, spacing values. So let's say the spacing values is uh, uh, I50 which is 550, the, the value here earlier. So we need to we need now to select 
or pick the object. So what is what are the objects? So this one, uh, two, three, four, five, <coughs> six, seven, and then eight. All right. And then click the middle button of your mouse. So it says pick the position, first position. So one. So let's say one, and then two. So that one is the direction. And there you go. So it will give you the uh, show you the position. So now it it do uh, the array. So you can see here if you modify that one. So you can see here 550. So if I type here uh, two modify. So I have two here. But again, the division uh, it's not yet properly divided because uh, it doesn't. Uh, we haven't equate that one to the length of our uh, uh, main frame. Okay, but leave it there. Okay, so now, now that we have this uh, array, we can close this one now. And then here, when we do the refresh, then if you click this macro here, the <coughs> automatically. <coughs> Excuse me. The uh, the component will be shown here. All right. So now, um, first of all, we need to uh, we need to identify the number of the uh, the window. Okay. So let's say add parameter and then we type here number uh, number and then uh, how many number of windows? Let's say three. So three, one, two, three. So meaning if I type three, it will be three. But the problem is if we put this three inside our uh, uh, <clears throat> general properties of the component, if I put number of array three, then that this one will be four. Because if you notice here, it should be two copies only. So we need to have a, uh, uh, a little bit of equation here, add parameter. So here you type here equals to P, 7 minus 1 so meaning uh, hide this one so and then I will type here number of windows Oops, sorry <clears throat> number of windows and then this one is hidden the p8 but again the p8 is the one that we need to equate to the number of arrays here Okay, so look, if I change this one to two, so two, but again, this one P8 is one. So if I change this one to four, this one will be three. Okay, so at the moment we will type here three. Okay, now for the distance, for this distance, this is the time that we're going to use the, the reference distance. <clears throat> we need to, uh, we need to divide, uh, we need to get the total distance and then divide that one to the number of windows that we want. Okay, so to do that one, we need to add an equation here, add a parameter. So here, we need to put here minus uh, equals to uh, D, D67. D67, okay, if you type here, D67, 2000. So let's say D67, I want to put minus, uh, minus um, this one, P6 times 2. So P6 times 2. Let's see if I can get the correct formula. Yeah, correct. So meaning uh, the total distance or the internal distance should be 1, 9. Okay, should be one nine. So I'm going to hide this one. Okay, so one nine. So we need to divide this uh, one nine. Let's say into three. So if I'm going to divide this one, okay. If I'm going, let's see if we can. Uh, Okay, and then divide uh, one nine. Let's say divide three or divide P eight nine fifty. 
All right, 950. So this 950, uh, I'm going to copy this P9 and then put that one between the elements. Enter. Aha. So it seems that, uh, okay. Ah, okay. Sorry. Nope. So I think I need to uh, change this one. Um, okay, so we need to remove this equation. Something wrong here. Okay, so now let me just go back to this one and then type here 550. Okay, there you go. So I think uh, we need to type here, remove this, all right, and then add an additional equation. And then this time, I think we can, uh, we can put the uh, uh, equals to P9 divided by P7. Ah, right. Okay. So this should be the uh, this should be the uh, the formula P nine divided by P seven, which is six three three, and then uh, here copy the P ten. Then repress this one again. And let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Because why? Uh, this P10, this P10, actually, um, actually, this one should not be P10. This one should not be P10. Why? Because this one should be P3, which is the intermediate horizontal frame. Ah, sorry. Uh, 550, where is the 550? Yes, this one. So, this one must be P2. Okay, this one must be P2. So, what happened here is we can just simply equate this uh, P10 to P2. Okay, so this one must be P2. Sorry about that one. Yeah, so that one must be P2. So repress. So look, if I'm going to put this uh, P10, which is 633, to equate that one to P2, look what will happen. Equals to P10. Yes, there you go. So now it's divide. Uh, it will divide equally. Okay? If, you, if we uh, change this one to 2, See, it will be divided equally. It, I change this one to four. Wow. Now it's it's okay. Okay, so this uh, P10 will be hidden <coughs> or type letter H. Okay, so next is uh, okay. This one, the position of this. The position of this uh, vertical stud, it should be always at the middle. So what happened is, we can just simply select this one and then, sorry, bind this one. Okay, bind it to the middle. Bind uh, center planes uh, here, like this. So look, 3750. So what I will do here is I will put 0, 0, 0, 0, and then hide this one. And there you go. So it's always at the center. So now, if I change again the uh, 3, 2. 
Unfortunately, we cannot put one because uh, uh, there will be an error on this one. So minimum of the two uh, um, window here. Okay. So let's say four. There you go. So now uh, I think it's uh, almost done. The only thing is uh, we need to put an option whether we put this part, this part, or this part. Okay, so we, we need to put a creation option. So what we are going to do is add a uh, yes, no option here. Yes, no. So add three. So let's say this one is uh, uh, vertical uh, intermediate, intermediate uh, frame one. Horizontal frame, intermediate frame two. All right. So here, by default, it is one. The value is one. And then if you put zero, then that one means uh, hidden. Okay. One is yes. Zero is no. Okay. Um, now we need to equate this one first. So P11 copy. So refresh this one again. So this one is the one, go to the general properties, and then copy, paste, and then this one should be P12, P12, and lastly this one should be P13. All right, so done. Now let's check this one in our model. So close it and then save. So now all this uh, all this visibility that I uh, uh, show, so meaning that one will be shown in our dialog box. So if you double click on this one, so here you can see that these are all the uh, uh, dialog box that I have shown. Okay, so look. Uh, we can now uh, do the position first and then change this one to zero because by default it is at the middle then prompt then there you go so apply and okay so now let's do the uh, let's try this one so I'll, I'll delete this one and then let me just uh, create uh, let's say an a wall all right, so opening, so polygon cut, so let's say here. Okay, one, say two, three. So let's say one, six, one, eight. Ah, should be one, six as well. All right, and then I'm going to copy this one. And then this time I can now uh, change the size, let's say here, this one. All right, and then small, maybe a smaller one here. This one will be uh, another smaller part. Okay, so now, uh, going back to our component, let's say YP. So I have already this. So now to add this uh, uh, window, okay, so now to add this window, just double click. And then you can see here the parameters. Again, you can change this one if you added a picture. So don't mind the, uh, the naming, you can change that one. So apply. So from this point, one two and there you go so now uh, actually we can pick uh, the picking point is at the center it depends on on your uh, where did where do you uh, create when it depends on how you create the uh, the window if it is at the middle or at the edge so I think this one is at the middle so now look so here 
uh, I can change this one to 1600 and then modify yeah and then let's say this one is only uh, 3 modify okay and then again apply here so pick this point pick this point so here I'll change this one to 5 modify so that's more so also uh, horizontal distance let's say I'm going to put here 1200 modify yes okay so in this case you can now change this one to let's say 1400 modify yeah so there you go and then this one is 1000 modify and lastly this one Must be 500. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So something like this. Okay. So this is the custom component or intelligent custom component for architectural uh, uh, window. And uh, for the next video, I'm going to show you how to create the uh, uh, picture inside this dialog box. Thank you.